Alright guys, welcome to your, I don't even know what freaking number it is, welcome to another Git tutorial. And the first thing that I want to teach you guys in this tutorial is how to view all of your commits. Pretty much how to view your commit history. So make sure that you're in your main uh, project folder and type git space log and hit enter. Now as you can see, what this command does is it basically allows us to view our commit history and we only have one commit right now and it basically gives the author of it which was Bucky Roberts the date which was this is the point in time where I actually made this commit and this message right here now of course we only did one commit so far which was adding our very first text file to the project which was first text right here so that's what this commit is displaying but if we had more commits then they would all appear there now another thing I wanna point out is that you can also view commits from a certain person because if you're working on a huge project with a bunch of people like a team of programmers then it's helpful to view commits from only a specific um, let's say you have a programmer uh, developer and uh, you know a systems administrator maybe you want only want to view uh, changes from the developer which would be Bucky so let's go ahead and get log which pretty much means show me the commits but I only want to view them from one person so dash dash author equals Bucky and it's cool because you don't need to type in uh, the full name which is Bucky Roberts you can only type part of the name and when you hit enter it's only going to show you those commits from Bucky. So what if you, uh, you know, maybe you typed a person that doesn't exist. Let's say git um, log dash dash author. Let's just set this equal to Wendy and hit enter. Now, of course, Wendy does not exist. Um, the only person that made a commit so far was me. So this, of course, is not going to display any commits because Wendy didn't make any and there are a couple other things that you can use to um view certain commits but you know I'm not going to do a whole, whole tutorial because this is just a kind of beginner's tutorial and well it's kind of boring viewing commits from you know specific people so anyways let's move on to the next actually really helpful thing and that is making changes to your project now I know we already added a file last time but I want to show you guys a really cool way to better understand how changes are made and that's using git status now hit enter on this and it says oh on branch master I thought it said oh branch master I was reading it in that voice too it says nothing to commit working directory clean so what does this mean the status basically says that there are no files that you are working on that Git isn't keeping track of. In other words, if you created a file but you didn't commit it yet, then it would give you an entirely different status. So remember, whenever you type git status, and that's another thing, in your bash, if you hit the up arrow, then it's going to take you to the previous command. So if you keep hitting up, that's what I'm doing on my keyboard then it's I'm um, gonna keep cycling through your previous commands so you don't have to type it out but git status pretty much compares your repository which is that main project against your working directory which is just your local copies that it's working on and it tells you if there are any changes so right now they match which is good so let's go ahead and create a new file um let's create a new file and just put like this is uh, another just put this is the second text file that we are making and just go ahead and save this as second dot text and of course this is all in the tuna directory and let's actually go ahead and make a third one this is our random dumb third file and save this as third as well so now in our working copy which is our local computer just think of it like that we have this first file which is already committed to our main project the second and the third which we just made so those are not committed yet 
and if we type git actually let me clear this git status then it says okay what we can pretty much see or what this is pretty much saying is you have untracked files second and third dot text now untracked means that we didn't commit them and if we don't commit them git isn't keeping track of them so now if we make any changes git can keep track of this one but since we didn't commit these two then it can't keep track of those so let's go ahead and well pretty much just add this right now